Battle control initialized. Hey, hey people, for Aces here. Do you like my shirt? It's a pineapple, but it's also a hand grenade. How awesome is that? But now for something completely different. We've got a non-RGL matchup with RGL out of the way, or at least with the non-playoff parts out of the way. It's finally time to catch up with the backlog. That's exactly what we're doing here. We are a Marigold Town, an RGL map, but not an RGL match. Two very interesting players, uh, highly decorated. One of them, top right, spawning as Russia. It is gonna be Open Array's own Blobmaster 3000 on the, uh, well, he's on the resurgence after taking a vacation off of Masters in, in Minions tier and handily, spoiler alert, probably winning. He still has to go through the finals, the Minions finals to be promoted. I think he's gonna be promoted regardless because there are enough spots. But anyway, and he's gonna be met with someone who is on his way out of Masters. Mr. Bug. Unfortunately, he had a great shot at taking some... He had taken games off of big names. He also had taken a game off of me, but that's completely unrelated. And yeah. Um, Bug actually has had a stellar season and then forfeited. The, the classic Bug move. Going ahead into losing one or two matches too many into season forfeit. So this is not an official match. This is just a, for, I guess, for fun 1v1. But let's tango. Let's rock and roll. Marigold Town, interesting map. One of those uh, that kind of, it's a love or hate map, I think. Many hate it for its short distances and uh, this ridge here, which is e which makes it easy to like be on the wrong side of the map if you're playing too passive. If you're playing very passive and defensively, ooh, we're gonna have a very long way towards defending your other side of the map. Okay, buff posturing with his infantry. The tried and tested double ref build. He is the OG double ref player. I don't think I've... I rarely ever see him go War Factory first. He just wants the mass. He wants the mass to hit the A move at some at some certain point in the game. But gonna be met with a very uh, strong defensive force, a defensive stronghold from Bug right now. So let's see. Engineer is still alive though, and we've got, we're on uh, we're on reusable NGs. Ah, that little detachment though, that just waiting. A little welcome committee for the engineer. So depending on the movements of of Bug. That's interesting though. He opted out of taking his original um, his original Derek, well knowing, oh also nice force fire action, probably well knowing that there's gonna be something uh, wicked this way. Ah, <laughs> Glock to the back on the way out. Oh, down goes the NG anyway. Forgot to keep it. Ooh, that's gonna be nasty. <laughs> target fires, nice. Target fires the, uh, the oil drums there. Almost getting the engineer. But uh, escapes with a flesh wound. Tis, tis but a flesh wound. Is he is he gonna do it? Is Bug gonna find the sniper gun? Oh my goodness, the game sense here. Jeez Louise. And a, like a 10 stack already primed on the oil derrick. Ouch. That is gonna sting a little in the early game. That is just gonna be... Uh, give him the alt. 1-2 tap there. Little flak truck playing 52 pickup. Somewhat mitigated by the... Uh, sorry, somewhat mitigated by the hospital, but... Ooh, nasty timing, the APC is gonna find some juicy targets right there. Hell yeah. Go to town, Crush Town USA that is. Mr. Buck, so far, finding a relatively good early game thus far. Pushing back the infantry here is buff, but like, look. Mobile flag on 52 pickup duty, that is gonna be so risky. Eventually you're gonna run follow the rifles and you, you're gonna die to one salvo, especially if it's like already on 60% health. So he just needs to wait for a good bait. For now, shaving off some infantry here and there, buff on the resurgence in this game as well. Oh, might be a costly snipe on the hospital if Bug decides to move in with his highly decorated officer, officer commander lieutenant uh, rifleman there. I don't know what the rank exactly is, like, open array lore doesn't provide ranks. That would be hilarious. <laughs> this guy, not general rank, not quite yet. He's not fit to play in Command and Conquer Generals yet, be a playable character. Hey, that's gonna be a ninja near. Let's see if that one does anything. And double flak truck, okay, interesting comp. Gonna do a absolutely nothing against the APC, but the APC can't be everywhere at once. Ooh, and if he goes into the base now, he's gonna find so many rockets. Ooh, that's gonna be juicy for Barf. He's gonna love what he's seeing there. In goes the double flak attack. Ooh, the 85, 85 caliber flak, I think it is, or 88 caliber. Duh. Ooh, gonna, 
gonna snack away the name severe. That is a very bad positioning for, for Bucky here. Can't deploy. Oh, does he have a defense climbed up? Yikes! Oh, on the move! My lord. My lord, that was close. The Zooks are getting the kill. Zooks and Rifles getting the kill on one of the flag trucks and the other one being scared away with the flame tower. What a play from Buck. Not even bothering to repair for now, he just wants the timing. He wants uh, he wants the MCV timing rather than the health. That is very understandable. So Barf has also established the expansion, but he lost all of his vehicle pressure, so it's only infantry from here on out until he fixes his rally point on the war factory. Alrighty. Might even be worse an engineer, but he's playing zone defense. He knows that like Barf might have something lined up lurking in the shadows. And moving out to the secondary MCV, that is a very Gatekeeper-esque build, except it was not as timely as Gatekeeper usually did it. He usually moved out with his first MCV while the second one was building, and thus just opted for grabbing as much land as he could. Good old land grab strats. And Bath again, ooh, been revealed. Being revealed with the heavy crushing offense there. Uh, yeah, I think the eco department in the favor in favor of Bug. How do you out macro Bath? But to be fair, he is uh, he has lost some of, of his um, some uh, some of the feathers in his crown in RHL season season eight because in minions he actually lost games to players where probably it wasn't to be expected. Most notably, my streamer colleague Jackoderp, who spoiler alert, it is somewhere in the video backlog. Ooh, this move out has been seen. MCB has been spotted, and thus the entire force is rotating. Buck knows what's up. Uh oh, this MCV is gonna run foul of an entire army. Buff is gonna have a, a little issue with his um, with his expansion timing from here on out. Oh, counter MCV snipe tempted, but Buck not dropping the ball here. Nice pulling back as well. Also pulling the heavies in. Very good play. Oh, that's a bit too many rockets on the dance floor. Gonna lose an eco line here. But he's still got such a great defensive position. I love what, what Bug is doing here. This is the perfect concave. This is just so good. He's gonna trade so optimally and favorably. Ah. Most of the heavies are down. One heavy remaining and just like that. Yeah, perfect. Just a little heavy armor a fallback point in, in, in the uh, in sense of the flame tower. That was well played. Well played by Bug. So yeah. By the way, uh, heads up, RHL Season 8 is not over yet. There is still remain uh, two two matchups remain to be played, one of them being the bronze match between myself and, and Pancho, and one of them being the finals between Mr. ZX Ganon and Mr. Orb. Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched uh, my series versus Orb, it didn't go very well. But it was an interesting series regardless, and it at least ex extended to five games. Uh, game number five was very, very disappointing. If you haven't watched it, I think Jackoderp has a backup stream where he stored it, and I think Point One casted it as well, but haven't found his videos. Don't know if he's saving them. So yeah, just go over to their respective Twitch channels if you want to watch their perspective, caster's perspective on what was happening there. Uh, or don't, because it uh, didn't go very well. But hey. Uh, it was an interesting series, because both of us made lots of mistakes, but... One of us made a tiny smidge of more mistakes than the other. <laughs> Ooh, all trucks being forced away. And this might again be an MCV snipe, depending on how aggressive Bug wants to position his units. Ooh, ooh. Rallying them south for the ore refinery. That's smart, but he's gonna have to contest with this push now. So question remains, does he wanna does he wanna shave off the forces first or does he wanna go for the eco lines first? Okay, he feels confident enough that he can hold uh oh. Is that is that justified though? Because there's gonna be a low power Tesla coil. And that's gonna take a while now. Oh no. Oh, what a bad timing. Oh! Well, that is gonna be terribly bad. At least the flame tower is providing some some really great AoE. As are the rifles. I didn't expect this, but the rifles are connecting on half of the plot because Bath's tank positioning was not facing toward the rifles. And again, Buck with a nice redeploy of the MCV. Keeping them alive. Keeping the boys alive. And in comes the flank. In comes the pincer maneuver. Bath trying to merge his forces there. Oh, my goodness, both still have so many backup forces. I think, like, if Buck just moves north here, he's gonna be in a great position. Oh, concentrated forces. Bath losing most, if not all, of his heavies. And now, <laughs> now it's time. This is the, the elephant graveyard. This is where tanks go to die. Ooh, MCV supported push now. Nice repair. 
Ah! Shimming a little bit forward is the tank, just providing some... Eh, you know that one or two sales line upside. Oh, Tesla coil though. By the way, I can't tell you how much I'm waiting to upgrade to the new release. You know what? It's gonna make it so much more convenient to just press the key and have the production overlay on at any given time. That is gonna be magnificent. I am definitely hyped for that. So another... Okay, what is... That composition is lots of rockets. That just includes a metric fuck ton of rockets. That is not very... Not very typical of Bath, I'd say. But then again, he sometimes has those moments where it just goes like, I think that's a 5-5 five, five split even. Oof, that is expensive. Just one, one V2 would ruin this blob's day. He has sniffed out the macro expansion too. Bath might want to re-establish uh, an expansion that's south. With the support of the Tesla Quill, this base push is going to be easy cheesy. Oh! Oh my goodness! The ninja near! Did he? Yes, that's Bugs the Technician. He actually got a refinery. Oh. Gets a power plant too. If he, if he takes this refinery, this is going to be awesome for him. Oh my lord! Ninja near actually having an impact. Ah. Oh. No longer. Oh, heavy tank flank though. Three heavies. Three heavies in the back lines. You never want to have to do this. He now has to chase with infantry who are just immeasurably much slower. Oh, and he's also going to get picked off by from his tanks as well. He's getting stripped of some tanks here. Trying to converge into his own infantry lines, but too late. One harvester goes down. Eh. Other harvester taking a beating, but... The armor still holding up, and that's that's a massive mistake here. Buck not utilizing his, his move commands there. Trying to be aggressive on the on the eastern front there. Oh, I don't like that. This is gonna be very expensive. One ore truck in peril. Second ore truck getting chunked down as well. Getting chunk mm. Yep, that's gonna be two dead harvesters for my money. Or is it? Or is it? Is he trying? Is he taking too long to actually kill the heavy? Yep, that's right, son. Nice! Bug actually surviving here. Also shaving off two more heavies, one more at least. The other one is booking it right there. This heavy doesn't want to be anywhere near here. Uh, yeah, so let's do an eco count. The statistics. 11 harvesters for buff, really. But holy crap! Raider Dome established, expansion in the, basically, in the uncontested area of Bath's base, that's Bath's natural. Okay. Not saturated yet, mind you, but, and also, pushing back the main army, pushing back the army in the main base, or at the husk of what used to be the former main base of Bath. This territory formerly belonged to Bath. There should be like a little memorial here, the Bath Memorial. This used to be Bath's place. It no longer is. My goodness, what's up with the rocket density? Unsupported infantry, no rockets. Uh, sorry, no heavy armor, but lots of rockets. Oh, that definitely is a rocket in his pocket there. If only, if only Buck had kept his army right behind, uh, right behind the flame tower, he would have traded so much more favorably. But as it stands, that's still enough to hold. Yeah, the flame tower is gonna go strong. Oh, nasty flank. If he deploys a Tesla, he's my hero. He could go for the 200 IQ Tesla play and just deny this entire expansion with one click. What does he have lined up? Ah, oh, it's a flame tower. Big mistake. If you're playing Soviets, unless you know that your opponent has, has like mass infantry, always go for the flame tower. Uh, always go for the Tesla. Tesla's, in my opinion, just a modicum more useful than flame towers. Oh, he's going for the right hand side. That's okay too. Like, this is a very unguarded area, so he can easily deny this. Buff's forces are going to take ages to rotate. Okay. Very nice positioning from Buff here. Catching out some unsuspecting harvesters. One goes down. Can we make it two? We can make it two. Zook's tracking just far enough. And that's going to be it. Oh, Yeah, again, no Tesla. A Tesla would have made mince meat out of those heavies right there. But as it stands, V2 transition. I'm loving it. Mm, the V2s are just something special. Yikes. The construction the other bug just completely oblivious and it's gonna be left to its fate right there unless uh, the rifles barely not blocking yeah MCV probably not dead actually wow the heavy tanks just barely slower there hmm 
I think they have, in theory, the same speed stat, as far as I'm aware. And... First we two hit, taking a big chunk out of the infantry blob. Very good. Flamers being mixed in, too. I dig, I dig. Great compact formation and the backstab. Backline flame tower backstab. Oh, Buck forgot about his MCV in the right-hand side. But he still is in an okay position. We're gonna do an eco check in just a little. Look at the army value. 9k over 20k. That is telling. Buff retaining his heavies, though, and he's now on Raider Dome tech. Also something I want to point out. Uh, I think Buck... He's kind of broke, but he has enough money. He should just build the axe. One or two just to screen the perimeter. Wait, what? Oh, that was a scouting run. <laughs> I thought that came out of the War Factory above, but that doesn't make sense. Uh, direct hit onto a heavy. Not worth it. Not worth it. Oh, those could get flanked so easily. Just ch picking off those two ripe little cherry tanks. Mm. They're in cherry red. You know you're in dire straits when your eco looks like this. You know, for all the the macro mastery the buff possesses, this is not very befitting of him right there. This is just, you know, let's do a quick count of the harvesters. Uh, it's 11 over 8, but really it is... Really it is 8 and 8, respectively. <laughs> so even eco for all intents and purposes. Uh, well... Let's cut that down to seven. And six gets another kill here. Are you for real? Ah, oh, okay. Those bug needs to rebuild. He can't afford to just skimp uh, uh, to just skip out on uh, producing. But he's got a massive army headed at, uh, at the main base. I don't know why he's moving both his construction yards north. He needs one construction yard like here, maybe? I, I would deploy it here or here. Here so he can hold the base push, or here so he can snack another eco field. Well, be that as it may, this is the all-in move. On to Bath's main base. Is Bath actually in danger of getting kicked out of this game? For good. For good measure. Let's see. Oh, V2's hitting very nicely ju just now. Low power for Bath. This is gonna spell barbecue time. Oh! Flamer's going to town on the tech here. Very nice. Yak has got enough ammo left to burst at least one of those V2s. That is lucky. Uh, the reason why that happened is because loaded V2s, as, as long as they have a missile loaded up, they actually explode. And that does some mild friendly fire. Oh no, three heavies again. Another Econ raid, and there is nothing that Bug is doing about it because he just skipped out on building uh, on building Teslas. Ah, I could have had that so much easier. Gonna lose two more Harvesters is buff though. Please don't tell me he's escape escaping with this Kanye as well. The all-seeing eye of Sauron coming in. Let's see. I see you. Hell yeah. See, uh oh, <sighs> he could pick the. You could easily pick the MCV. Man, the main base is no more. There's just nothing left of Buff's main. Oh my goodness, that is so smart. What he's doing there? I think he forgot about it. I think his original plan was to draw fire from the flak truck with his heavy, and then go in and burst the Kanyard, but. He kind of forgot about the execution of the plan, like, uh, style 10 out of 10, execution 2 out of 10. Uh, execution not found. Speaking of execution, that harvester is dead. Uh, please, go for Tesla's bug. Oh, we've broke. He broke. Wait, four harvesters for him? Really? Oh, he just rebuilt that one for now. Yikes, yeah, well, after this backline raid, he could have had so much more econ if he had just protected it a little better. Oh, the MCV barely not dead. Ah, oh, in goes the strafe. But trade it out for all the yaks. Yeah. Zook shot connecting. Trade it out for all the yaks. And this is an all-in maneuver from Baf. He has basically nothing left. Cheese Louise. Oh my goodness. Buff spl um, Buck's blowing his forces there. Is that going to be a Buck splat? Is Baf going to get Buck splatted in this game? Okay. Ooh, it's about to get tense. Kill this, please. So smart. Like... Just pulling, pulling a couple units and send them into the eco lines, while the mainstay forces are actually here. Ah, oh, Zook shot again connecting. He needs to have this V2 connect. Ah, that was good. Pull it back. Ah, oh. Buck busy microing elsewhere. I don't know where because all his armies are idle. Oh no, the heavy is still going strong. Really? How much eco damage? How much havoc has this heavy tank caused for now? 
Ah, rough. One, two, three harvesters remaining. Okay, this V2 needs to connect. No! Not calculating it correctly. Ah, trigonometry, not his strong suit apparently. Finally killing all the base there. All your base are belong to us. Is this gonna be a base trade? Hell yeah! Please tell me we're going to base trade turn. V2s are coming out for Bath and hate to say it, but so far, box V2 control, a bit lackluster. What he needs right now is power in his Tesla coils, more MCVs, more than... No, he's got two. And more forces. Wow, okay. Uh, everything is slowing down, but Barf is on one base. He lost his expansion there. And let's see what vector... Okay. <laughs> what vector is he coming from there? Buck also has his expansion still kept alive. Wow, that is crazy. This expansion is still alive after all that time. Okay. Ooh, that's gonna be a nice eco raid. But again, the forces from Barf are starting to converge. This time his rocket ratio is not that crazy. He doesn't have the disposable income to afford that anymore. Tesla coil picking away, little by little. Uh, four yaks. Okay, that's enough to kill the Conyard there. Especially in conjunction with the V2s. Ah, oh, Paradrop got, got, got taken care of. Okay, so this is gonna be a big one. No! Mm. Well, at least Buff. <laughs> Buff kept perfectly still for the V2 uh, photo shot right there. The photo shoot. Okay, this time around. Uh, oh, well. Lots of tens. The open array casino is open, and again. We haven't seen uh, the best uh, luck of the draw so far. Oh, that was a good one, though. Okay, finally this expand. Um, so finally this force is taken care of. <laughs> Tesla Quill. Well, the Yaks. The Yaks are gonna like kiss that MCB goodnight very gently with their, with their. I don't know what their weapon actually is. What are their armaments? Not a, not a grizzly. Uh, like grizzly World War Two veteran. If you have any World War Two veterans in ch chat, let's ask. What is the armament on there? Uh, on the V2s, uh, on the Yak, sorry. Fun fact, V2s in the game are actually called Scud Launchers. Uh, for the intent, for the purposes of the engine. Oh, Yaks didn't spot that yet, but yeah, they did. Somehow they did. That is all the plus 30s you could ever ask for. Oh, brutal. But the camp has begun. Buck trying to set up shop here. I don't think he's got enough. Oh, cannot afford to hemorrhage. Um, to hemorrhage flak trucks. No direct hits. Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna be the end of at least 1v2. Yes. Bath going very deep for those v2 snipes. Still one alive. I think he should target the refineries actually. Oh, that was a big Allahu Yakbar. That was savage. Alright. Consolidating. Both are consolidating here. Mm. Oh! Tech center. I'm not sure if that's the right choice. I honestly... Yak gets, gets popped just on the move. Okay, those can do some serious damage right now. Oh, too little... No, too little too late. Not enough yaks, uh, not enough flax on the dance floor. So, I really think Bug is not in a great economical spot still. Uh, what's his eco looking like? Oh, seven harvesters, but I don't think the tech center was actually... A prudent investment. He should rather have gone just for an grabbing another expansion. He had the time to do so. Like off the back of this pressure, easily. All right, heavy's getting really low. Come on, they're getting flacked to death at that point. But that's a bit too heavy. That's fast enough to at least escape V2s. Well, not at that rate. Not if you forget to keep it moving. So we've got an awkward two base build versus an awkward one and a half base build right now. But tier three. Is that going to be the saving grace? I'm not sure. Against Soviets, against uh, Tesla coils, mm. against allies, I would be like, sure, why not? But against allies, no. Also, oh, no, not like this. Bucks selling out immediately, getting a couple back, a couple bucks on the payback scheme that OpenRay has set up. Yikes! Those V2s are not post as of as of yet. Buck really needs to fire up airfield production. That is his way back into the game because if he can contain um, if he can contain Bath on like one base now one and a half bases he's gonna be in the clear. Ah, oh, 
it is getting tense. Of the mammoth tanks, I'm not sure if I'm liking them. They're not fast enough to track against yaks reliably. They're not good enough at killing infantry blobs reliably, in unless they're in critical mass. Like, just one or two is frontliners ain't gonna cut the mustard. Yes. Cutting the mustard. <laughs> uh, another harvester gonna fall foul of a very uh, rocket... Uh, very rocket-heavy uh, infantry blob there. Pop. Okay. Well, at least he's tackling the eco-lines. That is smart. Sending... Yeah, sending the mammoth as well. Oh, a complete perfect scouting run. Bath knows exactly what to expect here. He sees that this is completely unprotected. Maybe... If, if he can get his forces in position right there. This There's no build radius here either. Yikes. Right-hand side, though. One of his juiciest ore patches is gonna be taken out by mammoths. And... Uh-oh. No. Do not engage. Oh! The plus 30s are stacking up like crazy. <laughs> Yikes. That was a misstep and a half. Uh, what is Bug doing here? Okay, at least he's got a mammoth. On this side... Oh no. He lost them to Tesla Quills plus freaking V2s. Like, if you, if you keep your mammoth still, yeah, V2s are gonna do a chunk of damage. Uh, we're gonna about to see, we're about to see live field test right there. <laughs> Not like this. Ah, Mammoth taking ages to rotate as well. What a terrible line of play. Ah, oh, this hurts my soul. This is soul crushing. He was in such a good spot and now he's lost all of his pressure. All of his vehicles are down. One mammoth remaining in base. He definitely needs to, like, veer away from, uh, from mammoth tank production. That is just not the unit you want right now. Uh, I still got all the tech. One base. Ooh. One MCV play. And Bath now take the good old switcheroo. It has happened. <laughs> we have transcended meme, meme culture here. This is a full-on base swap. This is looking like quite the awkward game. Oh no. Uh, he sees the tech center. He knows what's up. Bath can easily snipe the tech center with little to no effort here. Wait, that was a yuck. Well, yuck down. Yeah, mammoths actually terrible against uh, uh, terrible against yucks because they spaz out. <laughs> direct V2 hit onto a harvester. You can see like direct V2 hits onto anything, lit literally onto anything. They just deal hefty chunks of damage. Not to be underestimated here. And this is again going to be... Oh, a terrible spot. Iron Curtain being deployed. Just in time before the tech center presumably getting sniped. Yeah, good night, Lucy. Wow! And no flak trucks remain for the chase. I think this is going to get getaway scot-free. Taking down a harvester with a direct V2 hit. That just stings. That just... Okay, uh, Bugs Game Sense tells him that the V2s are not going to be long for this world. Wants to cut them off here. Cut off the head of the snake! Hell yeah, that's one down, that's two down. Alright. But at the end of the day, is that enough to stifle? Ooh. Down goes the only yuck. Is that enough to stifle uh, like the comeback for Barf? I don't know. I honestly don't know. He's now back up on a solid two bases. He's got some solid macro foundations and the economy. 10 over 5 harvesters. Even after all that crazy pressure, Barf still going strong. The Iron Curtain is going to be the big ticket. If Buck can make it happen on a shoestring budget, might as well. Might as well go full on tech route. Only armor right now. <laughs> this is a very rocket dense blob again. Just how Barf likes him right now, apparently these days. Oh, just one, one V2 into this cluster. He needs Tesla. Like, I don't understand why Bug is refusing to, to build Teslas. Probably power struggle? Struggling with his uh, power management right there. This gets scouted by the Yak probably, yeah. Yak sees the army. Oh my lord. By the way, veterancy is so good on V2s not only due to the damage and spread increase, but also due to their speed increase! Oh! That was a 10 out of 10 Yak shot, uh, V2 shot. Ah, uh, V2 for everyone! You get V2, Comrade Conscript gets V2, Comrade Mammoth Tank gets V2. Yikes. That's just not how it's supposed to end right there. Oh, uh, very awkward Iron Curtain. Also, even needs to face and turn around. That was not it. 
That was not the Iron Curtain that Bug needed. The V2 is back and rearmed. No. No way he's gonna push into this, even with one Iron Curtain Mammoth. The indecisiveness is killing him here. Now he's going in. Really? The Iron Curtain just timed out. Like, what? And now he knows that V2s are on the chase. He needs to keep his army on the, ch uh, on the move at any given time. Rockets are taking a chunk out of the Mammoth, but it stays alive. He needs to scatter. Scatter, my pretties! Ah, uh, Mammoth tank going face first. Oh no. That's the entire... Oh, not like this. The entire front line down. And that's gonna spell disaster for, Bar for Bug. Barf is gonna be easily able to defend this off of the back of one or two V2 shots. <laughs> Again, getting such value from his shots there. Ah, uh, even the Yaks on cleanup duty. He knows what's up. He, he just knows. And this is gonna be terrible timing for the base push. This base push is gonna be met with the six surviving heavy tanks, two V2s in the back lines, and lots of rockets pointed straight at Chikanyard. Ah, oh, my lord. Has Bug actually blown this? He's trying to rotate, but this army is way too, like, inconsistent. The V2s would need the, the most amazing shots. Ah, oh. Down. <laughs> Down goes the MCV, not even a husk remaining. Man, the lack of Air Force really cost Bug the game there. Oh, no. Direct V2 versus V2 combat. Some good old V2 on V2 action. As long as this V2 is alive, this blob can't fight. Like, no way. GG being called! Maybe a bit too premature, but then again, he was on severely on the back foot. Okay, this was crazy play from both in the early to mid game, and then Bug just messing around a little bit too much. Mammoth tank transition not paying off. Um, the base trade was hilarious, but at the same rate, Iron Curtain would have been good, in theory. But he used it on Mammoth Tank, then was really indecisive about going left, going right, uh, not going into the base, then committing once the Iron Curtain ran out. So basically it was Bug choking after a, after getting a severe lead in the early to mid game. But some really nice MCV movements that we've seen. Also Merry-Go-Round, uh, Merry yeah right. Marigold Town is a map that I kind of like it. have kind of a love-hate relationship on it because I lost... I just lost two orbs, uh, two games versus orb back to back on it, <laughs> but that's fair. Um, it is one of those maps that appears quite straightforward, but it can lead to some interesting maneuvers, especially around like this patch is super juicy and accessible to both at the same rate. And it just leads to interesting MCV positionings where you could go for a super greedy sneaky expansion, like a hidden expansion. So interesting stuff to see. Just like River Crossing, which is also in my opinion a bit underrated and underplayed. Also, the veterancy on those V2s was uh, just staggering. <laughs> Them getting a tech snipe. Ah, oh, that was the icing on the on the on the terrible shitstorm cake that was brewing for for Bug. So yeah, congrats for, to Bar for presumably making it back to Masters. He still wait. He still needs to face off against Goat, and Goat has been on a rampage lately, just taking names out of uh, taking names from games from all the Masters players, I believe. So yeah. That's gonna be something I'm super hype about. I'm gonna cast this and then I'm gonna cast the RHL finals and then that then that's gonna be it for RHL season eight. After that, we're gonna be back with also a little announcement. After all the stressful competitive events that have been happening in the last couple weeks, we're gonna be back streaming some fun uh, like some fun games and some team games and some FFA games even for once. For once in my entire life. Just uh, just some wacky fun games as a stark contrast. RV and SP are going to be back on the menu. SP is going to have a, a Paradise is going to have a new patch update that is going live tomorrow, and I already know the change log, so mm, that's going to be some good stuff. Right, that's it for now. Tune into the streams uh, on Tuesday, 6 p.m. UTC. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Five aces out. Battle control terminated.